So welcome everyone. Let's start. Ano? Um, by the way, uh, let me welcome you all of you. No? Uh, for today, ang host will be me alone. Kasi Cha will be speaking as one of our uh, resource speaker for today. So I'd like to welcome everyone. Uh, yeah. So let me just share with you why, how, and uh, uh, paano ba nangyari to sa BLRT. No? Uh, actually, BLRT uh, Forum was born out of our desire to help business owners, leaders, and professionals develop their leadership skills and create a business community that thrives because of a strong professional relationship among its members. So we believe that, we believe with, uh, with leadership expert John Maxwell, who said that everything rises and falls on leadership. And he also mentioned that uh, one is too small a number to achieve greatness and no accomplishment of real values ever been achieved by a human being uh, working alone. So, three things that I want you to remember no, for you to achieve success. Leadership is key, relationship, and community. So, as part of our program, we share a little bit on leadership nugget. Today, I'll be sharing with you yung uh, quote ni Philip Kotler. The art of marketing is the art of brand building. And if you are not a brand, sabi niya, you are a commodity. Then, Rice is everything and the locust producer is the only winner. So, yun yung sinabi niya. Right? So, just to show you a little bit, ano ba yung sinabi? What did, uh, let's hear from John Maxwell ano, about branding. Ano? Let's. <music> Hi, my name is John Maxwell. Today's word is branding. I run into people all the time that they're talking about, well, you know, I, I need somebody to brand me. I, as if, if somebody can come and, and give you a good slogan or just a, 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 make a statement about you and kind of brand you, that it's going to make you successful. Let, let me say something. Why don't you just become successful and then brand yourself? You know, if I've got some kind of brand that's amazing, but I'm not amazing. That brand isn't going to work for me. The brand is only as good as you are. I guess I never tried to brand myself. I just tried to add value to people. After a while, they said, hey, you're kind of a leadership expert. And so I've gotten branded, okay. But the best branding isn't done by some marketing agency. The best branding is done by the people that have had the benefit of your life. Because trust me, when they put the brand on you, it's the real thing. I'm glad you're with me today on Minute with Maxwell. So, sabi nga, I may have the John Maxwell brand, no? but I am, if I'm not leaving it out, the brand, then the brand won't work for me. No? So, the reason why we have this forum is because we, add, we want to add value to you and to the people that we love. No? And this is why uh, this forum is actually free. No? And we want to leave the brand of John Maxwell. And that's our leadership nugget for today. So now, ready na ba kayo? But before we go, let me just share with you two things, no? Para we can be uh, efficient, no? One, we have to ask you to mute your mic while in session. And number two, uh, use the chat box to comment and to ask questions. So now, ready na ba kayo? Uh, yan. All right, I am more than privileged to introduce to you two very young, energetic, and successfully people who are successful, mga bata pa po ito, very young uh, business owner. No? And right now, they are successfully navigating on, on the business today. In these times of crisis, sila po yung mga right now ang nagtatribe sa business. Ano? Uh, let me start with uh, Cha, no, in our beautiful Cha. No? Cha is the founder of Artis Artisano Studio and a certified digital marketer. So, ano ba yung company ni Cha? Cha Artisano Studio is an integrated collective uh, 
of photographers, visual artists, motion graphic artists, cinematographers, uh, directors who believe in the power of collaboration. And they differentiated themselves by their workaholic nature, innovative ideas, as well as commitment towards excellence and quality. So the next person, no, I'm also privileged. I know this person already since uh, he's part of our community in Palms before. Now he's in Makati. Emilia Zurin is the managing director of Huskies Digital. No? And Huskies Digital is an inbound marketing agency for growing businesses. And these are teams of strategists, uh, designers, media buyers, and writers with one goal, which is to create more human and helpful brands. Um, they help clients across different industry, uh, generate more qualified leads, and scale e-commerce sales through their savvy customer-first digital marketing campaign. So without any further ado, uh, may I invite Sino bang mauna? Cha, no? Cha will be speaking first, no? Cha, you may now share your slide, no? So, okay. welcome po sa lahat ng nandito and we are glad that you join us today. Okay, good afternoon everyone. Thank you for your time. I know there are a lot of webinars going on out there and we're very lucky that we keep on getting um, the same weekly followers and even more followers as the weeks go by. So, um, just an introduction. If you attend all the BLRTs before, I'm also there. Kasi magka-partner naman talaga kami ni Sir Ronnie. We uh, designed this program so that we can help out leaders. Uh, whether you're a new leader, incoming leader, or matagal ka ng leader, this is the channel for you. Um, so, for today... I'm switching my role to one of the speakers because I also want to share with you how I can help in terms of the digital marketing sphere. Kasi yan naman talaga, apart from being partnered with DLRT, I have a company called Artisana Studio. So, my name is Tra Pestaño Diaz. I'm a co-founder of Artisana Studio. Co-founder, kasi yung isa ko pang co-founder, yung asawa ko. So, me and my husband, we run the company together. I handle the digital marketing side. He handles the creative side. Yun yung aming partnership. So what you'll be learning today um, is about Artisano. Don't worry, it's going to be very quick. Uh, we'll move on directly to defining your audience, identifying your goals, um, what Facebook ads convert, and some of the FAQs. So let's start with the quote. So sabi ni Jeff Bezos, if you make customers unhappy in the physical world, they might tell six friends. Certain things I want traditional. But if you make customers unhappy in the internet, yeah. they can tell a thousand friends. Yan. If we turn it around, positive naman. So if you make customers happy in the physical world, they can tell six friends. But if you can make them happy online, they can tell six thousand friends. So that's why I put this there. Mayroon siyang plus minus. Kasi it could be good, it could also be bad. Okay, so about our company, so we really believe that if it doesn't sell, it's not creative. Um, we are a high believer of the content being a big driver of why your digital marketing will be successful. Um, we are a multimedia production company. We focus on brand growth and we leverage the core offering of content and digital marketing services. So yan yung mga sphere namin, YouTube, Instagram Stories, Facebook Live, uh, so before we start, before I formally give my quick um, talk for today, I wanted to see if you can guess. So it was, sir, again, another traditional question. These are photos. Ngayon, na-convert na, not conversion, but some of them migrated or shifted or also is happening in the online world. Baka hindi lang natin alam. It would be better to explain it this way kasi at least get niyo yung what it was before and what it's shifting to right now. Thanks to digital discovery, by the way, these are not my images. I'm just using this so that I can show you. Um, I can drive to the point of how traditional is becoming um, digital today. First image, in the end, TV. What do you think this is right now? Any guess? Pwede kayong mag-guess sa chat, ha? This is, uh, we will make this fun for everyone. I open ko muna isa para you can see. So today, that's YouTube. So, imagine na lang what you can watch in YouTube. It's as if you're watching stuff on the TV. Next. Oh, what's this one? Abutan pa to. Cassette. 
tape. Yung nire-rewind with the pencil. <laughs> yung para ma-rewind. Okay, so what is this right now? It's called Spotify. Why? Kasi ayan, there, sabi ni Christine Laga, Spotify. Correct, correct. So that's Spotify kasi they play music. The next one, medyo giveaway na yung icon eh. So that's Gmail. But it's normally it's mails, di ba? Snail mail is now Gmail. Meron pa. Hey, next batch. Uh, what's this? Betamax? VHS? Diba? It's, it used to be VHS. Now it is Netflix. Diba? Netflix na siya. Yung second, the one in the middle, um, what's this today? WhatsApp. WhatsApp. May giveaway na rin yan. Oo, giveaway na rin yung color. O, last one, boards. Ito yung parang pin Pinterest. boards. Pinterest. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, when you go to Pinterest, yun, yung, yun din yung parang purpose, why the apps were born. Kung Pinterest siya, it's meant to put boards or inspiration. Last batch yan. The one on the left, photo albums. Yung ba tayo madalang, madalas naglalagay ng photo album ngayon? Facebook. So, Facebook, that's ori- originally, ha, that's what it was meant for, to really put up um, photos, albums, family pictures, travels. Yan yun. Pero syempre ngayon, nag- nag-evolve na siya. Next, disket yan. Disket floppy drive. Ito, medyo naabutan ko pa na nakapag-disket pa ako for submitting my ano, thesis before. Today, this is called, um, this is now iCloud. Oh, sorry, there's no more Wait lang. Sorry. Let me just share this. And today, it's iCloud. So that's where we put our photos, database. The last one, Mohang Newspaper, Jobs Ad, it's LinkedIn. So it's used for uh, looking for jobs. Again, these are, the nag evolved na rin si LinkedIn eh. You can already do a lot of things on LinkedIn. But ideally, you get the picture of where it all started. Okay, so... Again, um, so that's the end of our game. Again, for today, the goal of my topic is um, not really a deep dive on digital marketing, pero I wanted to let people know, because the audience of um, DLRT are really leaders. Eh. So as leaders, hindi mo naman kailangan na ikaw talaga yung gagawa nito. But it would be nice that you understand the higher level. Yung... How do you even start thinking about doing this with a digital marketer? Kasi minsan, si digital marketer, they could be very technical. So pag kinausap ka nila, parang ang dami nang nangyayari, you don't know, and plus you don't know pa what application it is, how, how it's used. So it would be nice to give you a little bit on the general idea. So when you talk to someone um, more techie, you'd be able to kind of be on the same level. So, um... Just to give you a brief background na lang din of what I have done, I have handled about 100 social media um, profiles in the past four years. So I've been doing this for four years, handling about almost 100 accounts, 100 different people, 100 different brands. Ngayon, with those different brands, and dami ko nang naipong frequently asked questions. Marami na akong naipon na when we start the the partnership or the engage, when we engage with them, um, I have to be able to help them out with this first. Otherwise, the whole campaign doesn't work out at all. So, ano yun? Number one, defining the audience. So, what do you mean by defining the audience? We have to be able to know sino ba yung pinagbebentahan nyo or pinag-ooferan nyo or yung, if you just want to do awareness, who is it? Sino sila? Who are they? Precise target audience can help create, can help you create a better content and effectively deliver it. Okay. So, ito pa. Who can Facebook target? I think it's nice to know this because you know how powerful Facebook can be. Because now you know that you can target these kinds of people. For example, do you know that if they like your Facebook page, pwede mo sila ulit targetin. You can again publish ads to them just because of the fact that they like your page. Hence, important na meron kang Facebook page. If you do it on your personal account, it doesn't work. So you have to have a Facebook page. Yung sunod, website visitors. Um, medyo may technical side lang on how you can do this. You just have to um, put Facebook pixel. Mostly, you can YouTube naman those things. But 
again, if they go to your website to just look, and kunyari nagkaroon ka ng promotion, nagkaroon ka ng ad that you want to publish, you can target them. Number three, customer data. So, um, coming from a traditional, kunyari, sinusulat nyo lang sa Excel spreadsheet or sa logbook, yung mga clients nyo, kunyari, like for example, here in the studio, when people would do photography, before, we would let them log, log their names, log their... Yun is actually considered customer data, which you can use. So, see, Facebook allows us to upload those kinds of customer data so that we can use them for targeting. Again, another common activity is interest. So, interest meaning you have to understand ano ba yung gusto ng mga pinag-advertisean ninyo? What do they like to do? What are their habits? Um, demographics meaning saan sila? For example, um, let's say me, I have a um, photography studio here in Makati. So, I don't think I can sell my service if they live in Quezon City kasi so before the lockdown, sobrang traffic. Diba? Sobrang traffic. So, I don't include them anymore in my target market. Hindi na sila kasama. Ang kasama lang is Makati or maybe Taguig. So, I try to make the scope smaller. Pero sure ako na because the the, the location is, is closer to where they live, where they work, mas magiging audience ko sila. So, what's a lookalike? Lookalike naman, si Facebook, what they can do, okay, Facebook, I have 10, say, for example, I have 10 previous clients. Ito sila o 10. What Facebook will do, hahanap siya ng lookalike nung 10 na yun. Bibigyan ka niya ng counterpart. Which, which then, ikaw, wala kang kahirap-hirap, you just give it to Facebook. Facebook did the job for you. Yun yung tawag sa, yun yung sinasabing lookalike. Okay. So, now that you have, mahaba lang, mahabang exercise yan, ha? hindi pwedeng parang, oh, basta taga Makati or nasa work ng 8 to 5. There's a very, very, ano pa, more intensive way to get that kind of audience. Target market. Pero sige, let's move to the goals naman. So, yung goals for every brand, for every professional, for every business, there's a different goal for them. Why they go on Facebook or, or social media. Um, First of all, kailangan mo muna malaman, is it really doable on online? What if you say, gusto ko maraming pumasok sa store ko? It's not really an online activity, right? Like, if it's a physical store, hindi yun kasama sa online activity, di ba? There are ways to track it, but that's a separate goal, than an, an online goal lang by itself. So, ano yung mga example ng mga feasible goals? Increase brand visibility online. Increase targeted traffic, establish your company in local search, identify opportunity for partnership, increase growth and traffic to social media channels. There's a more in-depth way to figure out what kind of ad you need. For this topic, I identified 10. So, merong iba-iba. There are 10 different goals. Pwede mo sila i-mix and match. But if you're just starting out, I recommend just focus on one. Masyado na siyang madami kapag ginawa natin. So what's the first one? Did you know that you can use Facebook or social media or any of your social media platforms for brand awareness? Brand awareness means they don't know you, but because you keep putting stuff out there, they will know you. They will be aware of you. Brand awareness. Yan. Yung reach... You would hear the word reach. Ang ibig lang sabihin niyan, Facebook or your social media will show your ads to as many people in your target audience. Kasi si brand awareness, pwedeng maraming beses. Kunyari, sinend ko kay Miss Eileen. Miss Eileen can see my ad multiple times. Pero yung reach, isa lang siya. I just reached one person, but I made it aware to her for several times. Ganon. Traffic naman... Brand awareness is measurable. Everything, all of these 10 items that I will tell you right now, they're measurable. Um, that's the good thing about social media. That's the good thing about digital. Every move that you make, you can have a report after to show you the results. Traffic. Ano naman ibig sabihin ng traffic? You can take them out of the current social media account. Ilipat mo sa iba. For example, if I say I have a Facebook page, I post something on Facebook page, pero sabihin ko dun sa dulo, Oh, um, also follow our YouTube channel, BLRT, um, so that you can watch our video. So you see, nilagay ko yung link ng YouTube doon sa post ko. So if I do that from Facebook, it takes me to YouTube, which is another, it, with a traffic channel to another social media account. So that's also a, a good way to do 
marketing. Next is engagement. So when you put, um, when you spend for an engagement ad, ang ibig sabi nun, you're hoping to get likes, comments, and shares. So merong gagawin si Facebook na algorithm or your social media so that your engagement um, will focus on likes, comments, and shares. Next naman, what if you have an app? I have an app. I want to use um, social media to publish my app. There's a specific ad for that. Ang, target, ang action ng ad na yon, download the app. So, very direct to the point. It doesn't say, um, learn about the app. Eh. Talagang direct show, download the app. So, that's a good um, ad also. Okay. Moving on to the next five. Video views is also um, an objective. Kung ang objective ko, maraming manonood ng videos na ginawa namin. I will pick this ad. It gives you, um, it shares the videos of your business who would most likely watch it. Next, lead generation. Maraming my favorite dito sa lead generation kasi lead generation means for everyone who engaged in your Facebook, you can get a list after. So, yan. Maraming kaya maraming may gusto kasi they are willingly giving you their information. But take note, ha, it means they willingly did it. Wala tayong kinukuhang information out of them that they didn't give. So next, messages. So if what, what if naman, I want people to message my brand, you use this ad. It connects with people on Messenger, Instagram, direct. So minsan, I don't know if you notice, if you go on your Messenger, may parang magpapop na sponsored ad. Uh, they're using this kind of ad. Conversions naman encourages you to do a little bit more. Nandun na siya sa buying. Convinced ka na, may brand awareness na. You know the brand already. Um, You've heard of it multiple times. Now, the conversion ad is actually a step where it helps you sell to them. Na. Ano yung mga action dyan? Download the app, register for your website, make a purchase. Yun na yung mga action items for a conversion ad. Yung sa last one, catalog sales. It shows products from your e-commerce store to generate sales. So, as you can see, there are multiple ways. So, when I talk to clients, ito muna yung pinapakita ko sa kanila. Alin ba dyan talaga yung gusto natin munang mangyari? Because it cannot happen all at the same time, di ba? Especially for starters, hindi pwedeng lahat to. It really starts with brand awareness. So, also, based on experience, what are the ads that convert? When I say ads that convert, once you create the content, paano, mo, paano yun mako-convert? So, we, we have a belief na, we call it trash in, trash out. Kung pangit yung content, ikaw mismo, hindi mo siya gustong makita. Do you think people would want to look at it, click your ads also, di ba? So, first, we make sure that your copy is exciting and your creative stands out. May iba-ibang ways na yan on how to make your creative stand out. Yung sunod, describe the features and the benefits. They have to know what are they getting. Ano ba yung features niyan? Ano ba benefits niyan? Because they would ask that anyway, di ba? So, bago pa nila tanongin yun, i-offer mo na. So that when they click your ad, complete na yung information, it's almost closing when they actually engage in your ad. Um, you also have to know, the, um, you have to also say or think the, of the problem you're solving. What is your business ba solving? Bakit ma, ba nila yan bibilin? Bakit sila mag engage sa'yo? Di ba? Lastly, there's so many content right now, so many posts, so many tweets and everything. Means and the emojis help you stand out. Try mo lang, tignan mo yung current feed mo, see how many people use emojis. And most likely, baka nga mapunta ka pa dun sa, una mo sila mapansin. So that's, that's what it means when you put, when you say add emojis. Okay, ngayon, next, planning your campaign. So once you have determined your um, audience, and then you will determine also what kind of objective you wanna you want to push through with planning na ng campaign. So what's a uh, what's what are the steps to do this? So first, yan na may objective ka na, may audience ka na. Next is timeline and budget. How soon do you want the results to happen? So yung ibig sabihin din ng how soon, of course, may cost implication, de ba? So Again, a lot of people ask about yung sa cost. What's the cost? Ang answer, it depends. Depends on the goal, depends on your target, depends on the timeline. Kung mabilis, syempre, diba? It's like, it's as if it's a worker. Kunyari, mag-isip ka si worker, pinag-overtime mo siya, syempre, mas mahal yun, diba? Versus if it were done on his normal work hours. 
Yung next is add copy and design. So, ito, isa to sa pinagpaplanuhan. You don't just say, okay, I wanna put something online today, tapos gagawin ko lang today, tapos. It would come out after, say, a month or two months or three months. Pag tinignan mo yung feed mo, parang, ay, hindi masyadong planado. Kung ano lang maisip ko, yun lang lalagay ko. It's nice to have a plan para visually also, it looks appealing and your clients will remember na, ah, okay, magaganda yung ginagawa nito. I always click. Diba? So, what are the Facebook best practices? For this one, I'll focus on Facebook na lang muna, but I think it also applies naman to social media, different social media activities. So, step one is to make sure that you have a logo for your business. Why? It, it will be, um, may mga magagandang logo pag nakita mo, alam mo na kagad. You want to be that, eh, yung top of mind or something that they remember or maybe even a representative of what your company does. Next, create a Facebook page kasi the Facebook page does, yung mga friends mo sa Facebook page, yung mga nagla-like, they don't necessarily have to be your friends, eh. So if, for example, I have a personal account, I'm afraid to share my personal photos to other people, pero may brand ako, I create a page. So then, whoever likes the page, hindi niya naman makikita yung personal, di ba? Whatever I put on the page, business-related, whether it's business or personal, siguro I still wanna put there. Pero at least yon, meron separate. It still separates from your personality, di ba? Kung yun sa brand. Next is add the link to your website. Important din kasi yung website. It doesn't, it can't just be a social media account eh. There has to be a website to support everything that they see on the social media. Merong isang source, which is the website. So if you go to our website, it's a summary of all the things that we do. So last, keep your social media alive with posts. So post doesn't have to always be something you created from scratch. Pwede namang repost. Pwede naman siyang it's some, some from, from your friend's feed. Pwede ipo forward mo lang. You just keep it active. Make sure lang people just keep seeing your, your Facebook and the services or products that you offer. Okay. So now that you have all of those in mind, so nandun na tayo sa planning, meron ka ng execution, and then you... It's either you or someone else who would be doing the execution actually. Pero important the reporting. For every engagement, there has to be a reporting done. Kasi yan yung magva-validate kung nag-work ba yung plan niyo or hindi. Diba? So just to give you some keywords, um, when you hear the word reach, it's the number of people who saw your ad. If you see the word impression, it means how many times was it served. So kunyari, for Sir Ronnie, naglagay ako ng ad, he saw it 10 times. The impression is 10. Relevance determines how relevant your audience finds your ad. Okay, so, ang haba pa niya. There's so many things that you need to know if you want to really go deep dive on um, digital marketing. But the goal for my talk today is to be able to guide you in thinking, in planning, in the planning stage to actually decide from growing traditional, going from traditional to digital. Pag naman, maybe you're already in the digital, pero hindi mo to na plano, you're parang just doing it on the fly, you can step back for a little bit, tapos i-plan mo to before you release again something. And then you'll see yan, may results na yan. Some of the services that we offer, yon, we do digital marketing services, may content, um, we do SEO, may analytic consulting, website development, digital promotion. Um, yeah, I'll turn over the floor to... The next speaker, habol na lang sa last quote. If you can imagine it, we can create it. So, if you have questions, um, I'm open for questions. So, meron si Ronnie. Define the audience. Defining the audience is first step, correct? Is brand awareness measurable? Yes, everything is measurable. So, that's the beauty. Kasi mababalidate mo agad. If you did something, validate mo agad yan if you're working. Share how you measure. There are different tools. So my Google Analytics, my Facebook Analytics. Um, there are tools to be able to measure it. Kailangan mo lang siguro ng tulong initially to read it, to interpret. Kasi if you're not familiar with the terminologies, the report can feel na parang ang gulo. But if you know someone who can help you out to read the analytics for you or to translate the analytics for you, no, that's that's a better option until you figure it out by yourself. Uh, may question ako. Are there, ano ba, are there uh, 
uh, companies na uh, right now in, in our ano, in our situation no, sa pandemic. Are there organization ba na you could ano, kumbaga yung parang yung value, super yung significant yung value ng itong digital marketing. I know for some hindi naman, di ba? Or, or is it equal footing ba? Paano, how do you for example, may lumapit sa'yo na isang company, you know? How do you, ano, how do you parang uh, is it equal footing sila na lahat pwede ka sa digital marketing? O meron talagang companies na you would really recommend to go digital marketing? Um, okay, that's a good question. I think um, in terms of if everyone should go digital, siguro I would say case-to-case basis. Kasi, um, for example, restaurants, di ba? So, si restaurant, before the lockdown, kailangan may papasok sa restaurant niya to eat, di ba? So, some of the mm-hmm. restaurants that I worked with before the lockdown, nag online rin sila. Pero yung goal nun is to just let people know the menu that they're offering, the, kung may bagong menu, may bagong food out there, if there's a promotion ongoing, yun yung purpose, but it's not directly to take them to the restaurant. So, yun yung parang dati. So, right now, I think, um, when the lockdown is released, or kunyari, GCQ pa rin tayo, hindi pa rin sila pwedeng, hindi na sila pwedeng mag-serve ng dine-in, right? So, it will all be take out. Baka yun, pwede na siya mag-online kasi um, take-out, deli- take-outs are done online din, di ba? Delivery, ordering, meron na rin ways to do them online. So, if you can create a service or a process, if it can all be done online, digital marketing will help then to boost yung mga clients nila doon. Yeah, there are questions dito sa chat, ano? Pero bago mo sagutin yan, meron pa akong last. <laughs> okay, Sige, sir. Good. I understand kasi, di ba, you, uh, you mentioned kanina yung uh, objective. There are about 10 objectives, di ba? So, uh-huh. it's in the order of hierarchy ba? Parang first, the brand awareness ba? Meron ba siyang, ika nga, eh, mm. eh, where do you start? Or kahit saan ba dyan pwede? How do you, ano, di ba? Correct. You mentioned merong video views, lead, lead generation, message, you you mentioned that. Correct, correct. So, the answer there we still follow the marketing funnel. Meron kasi marketing funnel eh. So, si marketing funnel always starts with brand awareness. So, kapag aware na sila, the funnel goes smaller. So, as it goes smaller, nandun na yung they're um, considering your product. After kasi ng awareness, consideration na siya eh. So, once they start considering your products, you push some ads na nag-help para mag-consider. Yung last sale na. So, meron siyang sinusunod na funnel. Right. So, Ideally, the step one, series, naman siya. Series panel pala talaga. No? So, ito, I have a question. This is from Mr. Uh, Mr. Ed. No? Sabi niya, how can digital marketing help restart our economy given what has happened in the last couple of months? Is this okay. clear ba yung questions? Good or? <laughs> uh, sir, medyo vague din, pero okay. Let's, let me oh, yeah. try to answer it yeah. the way I understand. So, um, Let's all remember, digital marketing din kasi supports your current, your current business. So, for example, if we publish something in digital, if we publish something online, it should also be um, side by side na magagawa mo yung service na pinapublish mo, di ba? So, for example, um, it can, yung mga traditional kasi na, na companies, Diba, if they plan to go online, they have to figure out muna ano ba yung mga services na i-offer nila if they switch to digital. Are they offering the same service they were offering nung traditional marketing yung ginagawa nila? So, in terms of helping restart the economies, I think maraming mga small businesses, small medium enterprises ang um, nakakapag-digital marketing ngayon. Which okay. is... Um, I think malaking tulong to slowly uh, restart our economy. I think na restart naman slowly lang, not as fast as how, how it was. So, so Cha, we'll accommodate more questions siguro later. Pero one last question, ito yung from, from our ano, participants. Sabi nila, parang they're asking uh, for people who are uh, 
uh, in this type of digital marketing, we are start, starting up. Parang, for example, like start pala ako, I'm not into the digital marketing. This is how I understood the question. Eh, no? So, mm-hmm. uh, I will engage with you and ask you to to help me you know, in, in putting mm-hmm. my brand or product in the digital space. So, baka they might ask, no, parang basa ko, they might ask, paano nyo ba, how do you engage with them? How do you start? Parang yung process lang. And probably yung fee, I do not know if you can answer that now. Or maybe uh, sa, for direction na lang from people who are asking later, ano yung price. Pero mm. how do you, ano, for example, ako, mag-engage ako sa'yo. How do we start? And what are the okay. things that you need to, you know, to give you or para ma-establish natin yung engagement? Right? Yes, sir. All right. Okay, so... Assuming where I'm, I'm just engaging a client. Bagong client doesn't know digital marketing and wants to get our services. Ang una namin talagang ginagawa. I have to be able to understand what your business is doing before all these. Kailan may baseline? I need to be able to know our baseline, your baseline. Um, ano yung date? Sino yung mga target market mo? Date? Sino yung mga audience mo? Um, gano'ng kadala sila bumibili? Those are the questions that I have to ask. But basically, pati company profile, I need to be able to see. So, the first step in when we try to engage with our clients is to get to know who they are, what their current status is. Tapos, magkakaroon yon ng recommendation. So, there will be a recommendation from our end to say, okay, ito yung mga possible options. They can pick the options on what they want to do, how they want to start. Um, and then, um, the good thing about, siguro what I could say that's nice also in our company, when we say we want to do content, sa iba kasi magkahiwalay na service yan eh. But in our company kasi, since we are able to do content, I can recommend, parang kahit ano, I can recommend any kind of visuals that I think can help support the business. Um, so once that's done, next is to ask you about the goal. So remember, I told you, kapag kasi may goal, nandun yung cost eh. So, kunyari, sabi mo, Cha, gusto ko makita to ng 1,000 people. I want my ad, I gusto ko yung ad natin, 1,000 people lang makita every day. There's a formula. So, hindi yan inimbento. We have a formula. I can compute the formula for you. Then, we can derive the cost. Ganon siya. It could also work the other way around. Cha, okay, wait. Gusto ko, meron akong 5,000 pesos. What can we do with this? Pwedeng ganon. Or I have 10,000 pesos, I have 15. Pwedeng ganun yung magiging arrangement. Before we even engage, malalaman na natin lahat yon. Para when we do the contract, what we do with ours kasi talagang matagalan siya for most of the clients that I work with kasi nga we're growing the brand. Eh. So slowly, we work on it together. Um, and then because of analytics also, nakakapag-adjust. So say first month didn't really work out, nag adjust kami because of the analytics, we changed the strategy the next month. And it will be recurring until malaman na namin yung sweet spot. There will always be a sweet spot na, okay, ito pala yung gusto ng mga clients nyo. Ito pala yung mga type of content or type of um, captions that they like. So, we push forward with those. Ganun naman yung ginagawa namin. Yeah. Thank you, Cha. I know, mayroon mga questions pa, no? pero reserve your question sa last, no, no, after our next speaker will be speaking on Google. And, Ito si Wigi. Excited na ako for the next one. Thank you, Cha. No? Uh, stay put kasi may mga, I'm sure may, there are questions no, in your mind. Pero hold it just in your mind for a while kasi Wigi will be sharing to us that is also digital marketing. Ano? Medyo, uh, uh, without any further ado, see, let's hear from Wigi. No? Wigi Azurin, the managing partner for Husky Digital. Hi, guys. Good afternoon. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, I, can I have the sharing ability, please? Ah, sorry, sorry. Uh, wala pa ba? <laughs> wala wait, wait. Pa. Okay. All right, all right, wait, wait, ah. So, pakilala ko muna, uh, Miki, while uh, I'm you giving you a lot of access. Sure. Uh, so, um, good afternoon, everyone. Um, my company, Husky Digital, we specialize in B2B lead generation and e-commerce. So, um, I, I really like um, Chad's presentation because I, I have the same struggles also as an agency owner where um, being able to define objectives for my clients and define budgets, it's, it's, a, it's an art and a science. So <laughs> um, if it were very straightforward, uh, my job would be 
so much more easy. But um, a lot of it is really figuring things out and and working on the fly. Um, I met Coach. I, I called Sir Ronnie Coach Ronnie. I met Coach uh, uh, almost no. two years ago when uh, when I first joined BNI. So I'm um, very happy I'm just to be here and uh, support him and chat. Yeah, thank you, Miggy, for joining us. At napaunlakan mo ang aming invitasyon. <laughs> you can now share. Go ahead, Biggs. You can share. Okay. All right. So, um, I'm going to be talking about Google Advertising. And I actually have more or less the same flow as uh, as chat. Uh, I just want to give you guys an overview. Give you guys uh, some of the, the pointers that you might need to start. So, hello. My name is Miggy. Um, you can follow me here <laughs> and my, my channels. Uh, I'm an aspiring YouTube sensation, so I'm, I'm trying to get a million subscribers to my YouTube channel. Uh, I have currently 23, so malapit na. Um, I'm about to be a star very soon. <laughs> um, so thank you for having me. Uh, super, super happy to be here. I'm always happy to talk to um, other business owners and marketers about uh, how we can kind of help out each other. Um, I really enjoy these speaking engagements. So um, ngayon, uh, we can't meet physically. Uh, we're gonna have to settle for webinars. So and just my book pa ako. Ngayon, wala na. <laughs> I get a haircut. So uh, this is not a paid advertising uh, campaign. No? I just want to be able to talk about something that I I feel very strongly about because it, it's helped my business and it's helped the business of my clients. Um, and I want to be able to talk about going Google or how you can use Google for your business now. Very, very uh, random story. Uh, I was actually a Google student ambassador back in college. So uh, my love affair with Google is, uh, is, is really long. So I, I do have a bias for the platform just because uh, <laughs> I used to be an ambassador for, for the company uh, in my college days. Uh, I really think that Google is a must for uh, any business. And as you're about to find out these next few slides, uh, you really do get the benefit from the platform regardless of the size or industry of your company. So uh, I just want to be able to touch on these, uh, uh, these few points. So why go Google? Uh, the difference between social and search ads specifically. Uh, some of the fundamentals you need to know more of and some ways that you can go Google if you don't want to invest in search ads right away. So why go Google? Well, let's just answer it now. Seven, so this, these are numbers based on the Google Economic Impact Report. Uh, it's, a, it's an annual report that they share with people to kind of share how they've, they've made a difference in the lives of uh, their business partners. So according to them, 72% of search inquiries turn into a visit to a local business. Um, this is not so hard to imagine because I'm, I'm pretty sure at some point you have search something on Google, whether that be a product or a service, and uh, you immediately went to call or contact that business or that, uh, that service. 63% of people have been influenced by a YouTube video to make a purchase. So um, if you're like me, you know, a, 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 well, more or less a very heavy YouTube user, you've probably seen an ad or you've consumed a piece of content that uh, inspired you to uh, to make a purchase, so it, it's a it's a big number for uh, for the platform. And then last, and I think this is the the favorite number of most people, especially business owners. On average, you're looking at about two to eight x ROI on your Google advertising for uh, for businesses if done properly. Um, I'm, I always have a caveat when sharing this because um, advertising is never straightforward. There's there's a risk involved with it. But if done properly and if done, you know, uh, in, 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 uh, with, a, with a process or with a plan in mind, you really are able to profit from, from your advertisement. So, and there's a reason why they do make a lot of money. So, if you guys think about it, Google is the largest business directory in the world. Literally, uh, anything that you need to search for, they're able to come up uh, for you uh, during further search results. Uh, they're, also, they're also the widest billboard. Um, in the world. So a lot of the ads that you see on different websites, for example, those are usually Google ads. Uh, the ads that come up uh, on, on your mobile apps uh, when you're playing games or when you're, when you're using other apps also, those are almost always Google advertisements. So in terms of overall reach, they're just uh, tremendous, right? And then just to share with you, um, they really are still the biggest 
platform in terms of advertising spend. So um, I, I, you know, I really like the ability to advertise on Facebook. I think it's tremendous. But just in, in terms of overall uh, size of advertising being done, Google by far is still the number one. Uh, and it's not even close. So yeah, uh, you really just want to be able to go Google before you get left behind. I feel like especially in the Philippines, it's super underappreciated. Uh, most marketers will turn to Facebook first, and um, that's really a good step. No, I, 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 do, I do usually recommend people to go on Facebook first, but Google is what helps you grow your business uh, faster also by, by introducing a new platform to advertise on. Okay, uh, I want to discuss what are the differences between social ads or specifically Facebook and search ads. Like, uh, those are two very fundamentally different platforms because and understanding the differences will allow you to uh, make smarter decisions in terms of where to advertise. So I like to say that platforms are defined by the intentions of people. Like what, what are they using excuse me, the, the platforms for? For social, it's for discovery. Um, I, I like to say that when you're on social media, you're not, you're not in palenque mode, right? You're not in shopping mode. You're you're probably bored, but you're trying to do, you're trying to connect with other people. Your immediate mindset is not to make a purchase. It's typically to discover, to be entertained, and to connect. Um, and I think this is very important because this is where what Cha said earlier, you know, that the platform is has to be for personalized content. It has to sound almost like a friend because that's exactly how the platform is used. We we don't use it more often than not to go shopping. I mean, we do now, right? But more often than not, the platform is used to consume content, you know, to be entertained and to, to feel connected. Uh, on the other hand, search is for answers. So here on Google Platform specifically, you're looking for something, right? Sometimes you don't know what it is exactly, but you're looking, right? Something already kind of triggered um, that, that inquiry in your mind. So you might have come across a problem, or you were made aware of a situation, and then you wanted to Google something. So how I like to look at it is, you know, very simply, it's this. It's always a concept between demand generation and demand fulfillment. On social media, specifically Facebook, it helps you find customers because you're creating opportunities for them to discover you. You're creating nice touch points for people to connect with your brand. It helps you gather all of these uh, traffic to help you find new customers. Um, and it generates demand. So that's how I like to look at it. Whenever you have a piece of content up, you spark in their mind that idea of, oh yeah, like that would be nice to have or that would be nice to do or I didn't realize that I had this problem. So you generate demand. Uh, your content prompts them to get thinking and, and, and inspire them hopefully to take action. For search, it helps customers find you. Typically these people, they already have some certain of, of an idea or, or they already have an itch that they want to scratch and that's why they're looking for uh, customers. It helps fulfill demand because that demand has already been generated. There was something that happened, you know, they already probably they've seen uh, your Facebook ad or they saw something on the internet that made them want to ask these questions and, and, and solve that problem. So there's already a demand generated typically and then uh, they look for your business on search ads. And so um, when choosing between the two platforms, it's always good to ask yourself, of course, like, what is my objective? What am I, what am I trying to achieve? You know, it's, it's so easy to burn money on, on Facebook and Google advertising if you don't know what you're doing or uh, where your money is supposed to be going. So first and foremost, before you choose between the two, you ask yourself, what is it exactly that I'm trying to achieve? Um, and then second, and I think more importantly, you ask yourself, what is my user trying to solve? Okay, if my user is really just, you know, in the mood to relax or I'm trying to reach my user in a, in a more personal setting, then Facebook advertisements work much better. Yeah, but if you want to be able to target a little bit more um, itch, the other, if you want to be able to target the people who are already actively researching, um, then that's where Google search ads come in. And then last, it's, it's really about how you can maximize your resources. Now, um, admittedly, you know, all things considered, Facebook advertising is still the most cost-efficient way to reach as many people as possible. 
So if your overall goal is to engage with a lot of people, to do that at a really, really massive and uh, cost-efficient scale, then by far Facebook is uh, king there. But if you want to be able to you know, funnel in warmer markets um, and, and again, reach those itchy customers already, then Google advertising, although more expensive, usually um, it has a place also in your marketing efforts. So uh, I want to show you some of the products that Google has in terms of ads, just to give you an overview. Uh, but before that, um, I want to be able to differentiate two very um, it, well popular terms that you might not know the difference. So it's what's SEO, Bamigi, or what's SEM, and do, uh, what, what, what do I need? So SEO uh, is, the abil is it's the activities that you do to increase the amount of web visitors to your website by getting the site to appear on search results um, by the search engine. So if you, you know, when you, when you Google, you typically never look past the, the first page. <laughs> um, you, you will usually find what you want the first page and then you'll stick with that. Um, there was a very interesting stat. I think it was 97%. I think that was the number. I think it was 97% of people don't even bother looking at the second page anymore whenever they have search results on average. So search engine optimization, it's the activities of getting a website to the first page, you know, simply put. Yeah, and then there are a lot of these other activities that you do around it, you know, maybe for some other talk, but basically it's that. You get someone on top of the, the, the search results. Now, search engine marketing, it's, uh, it's internet marketing that increases a site's visibility through organic search, uh, search engine results and advertising. So... Search engine marketing, actually, guys, it's the umbrella topic. Uh, search engine marketing is the umbrella, and then you have activities underneath it like SEO, like Google advertising, like blog writing, etc. So, yeah, just so that you're not confused, when 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 you talk to a marketer or you, when you're talking about it, rather, um, so you just know that search engine marketing is the overall uh, activity or umbrella topic that revolves around marketing activities on Google. And then search engine optimization, it's one of those topics underneath uh, search engine marketing. You know, kind of like how digital marketing is such a broad spectrum. And then under digital marketing, you have, yeah, Google advertising, Facebook advertising, YouTube, etc. It's, it's like that. Okay, so just to show you, right, uh, this is great search engine marketing because all things considered, Whenever I type digital marketing agency, uh, sila yung lumalabas na una. So that's good search engine marketing. But if you scroll down uh, and then you see the, the businesses that rank organically uh, first, that's great SEO. So for example, itong si Purple Click, uh, I shouldn't be surprised that they're the top because they're, uh, they're actually a search engine marketing and SEO company. Okay, so that's their specialty. So it, it would be... And then they're a regional brand, so it, 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 they should appear first <laughs> uh, with keywords like that. So yeah, this is great SEO because they're able to end up on the top. Okay, so Google has a ton of products, but I just want to be able to talk about their Google Ads products since this is what's available for most businesses. And there are actually four main ones. Sorry, there's five na ngayon, but I forgot to mention that fifth one there. You have search for search ads. Display, those are the ads that you see around the internet. I have an example later. Shopping ads are new. Uh, they're connected to e-commerce sites. And then video ads are for YouTube videos primarily. So uh, as you guys have seen before, these are search ads. These are the ads that appear at the top whenever uh, you search for certain keywords. Uh, display ads, and So whenever you uh, visit other websites and you start seeing ads um, following you around, following you, that's like the feeling of it. Um, that, those are display ads. Uh, shopping ads, um, whenever you sh uh, search for something that an e-commerce store is selling, you will see them on the side or again, sorry, it's at, it's at the top now also of your screen. And then YouTube ads. So um, ads that you, that you see whenever you're on, uh, on YouTube or you're watching a video. So they have all of these different formats available for you. Yeah, and of course, uh, the more popular ones, the ones that uh, appear before you, uh, you watch a video. Okay, so um, to start running Google Ads, if you're interested in it, there, there are four things that you will need to have. So obviously, first, a Google Ad uh, account. It's free to set up. As long as you have a Gmail account, 
you're uh, you're able to run Google advertising um, immediately. You need a keyword planner. So that, that's a list of keywords uh, that you want to be able to target. So for example, what I like to do actually is I like to plot out the keywords that uh, the customers of my clients typically use to search for that product or service and the competitors also. So whenever you search for my, competi my client's competitors, typically you will see my client's advertisements because uh, we're buying those keywords. Um, you will need a website. So uh, this, this is one of the, I'd, I'd say, the, the hindrances of uh, running Google advertisements. No? Na you need an external uh, platform um, and that, that's in the form of a website. So uh, this is where I think Facebook has the advantage because in terms of ease, no? um, setting up a Facebook page is easy and then immediately you can start running content unlike having a website. Uh, you need to have it built pa and all of that. So this is, I'd say, the caveat. But uh, if you want to start advertising on Google, you need a, uh, a website. And then last, of course, a budget. <laughs> uh, it's not free, unfortunately, to advertise on Google. Uh, you're, you're going to need to spend on it. Uh, but yeah, again, just going back to what we said earlier, no? um, if you do it properly and you do it well, uh, you really do tend to see results for your, uh, for your campaigns. Okay, just a uh, last tidbit to share. Um, if this is not something that you can do right away, yung, yung advertising in Google, there's one free thing that you can do, and I, and I actually don't see a lot of business take advantage of this. It's called the Google Business Manager. So to be able to help out with your um, Google advertising and your search engine optimization, you, you can come up with a Google Manager account, uh, sorry, Google Business Manager account, and then you're able to have information like the one that you're seeing here. So yeah, for example, see Ateneo Law School. Uh, this is a generated set of information that Google uh, put up. As, as you can see there, you can, you can still click the own the business button. Um, so for your business, if you want to show up on search results uh, or you have in, your information show up like that, um, I, I recommend that you get a Google Business Manager account, which again is for free if you have a Gmail account. All right, so that's it. Um, thank you. I know it's uh, not a lot of information yet, but again, I just wanted to give you a teaser on Google advertising uh, before uh, you start doing it yourself. Yeah, thank you. So, thank you, um, Mix. Yeah, thank you, Miggy. There are a few questions no, that I want to ask. No? Actually, dalawa na yung tinanong ko. It's in the chat box. No? Oh yeah, sure. Sige. Yeah, for okay, first question, uh, uh, Miggy, first question ko yung, uh, yan, di ba, we can uh, uh, do our ad ads sa Facebook at sa Google. So, which should we focus on? Saka ano yung, how do we decide on, is it both or FB ba or Google? All right. So, uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, just in terms of cost efficiency facebook talaga is uh, is king so it's it's still my favorite platform to advertise on um, just because of the ability to reach people at a massive scale without spending as much money so uh, it i think it goes back better to what cha was saying earlier no na um, you have to ask yourself where in the marketing funnel are you in so if you're in the earlier stages of getting yourself out there, of putting your brand out there, um, I would lean more towards Facebook. But if you want to start converting warmer traffic, uh, Google Ads is uh, as a nice addition to your platform eventually. So yeah, ask yourself first again, what am I trying to achieve? If it's reaching more people, uh, Facebook by far is still the best. Um, but if you want to be able to target um, warm, itchy traffic. So again, people who are already searching your product or business, uh, Google Ads is the one for you. Yeah. Thank you, Mix. You, you may ask questions pala. If you have questions, just uh, uh, chat po dun sa chat box na lang. So you can, ano. actually, uh, meron pa, sorry, ako yung nagtatanong eh. No? <laughs> meron pang isa. Okay lang, Mix. Talagang, I, I really want to know how, you know, baka iba na iya lang eh. Pero, there's another question. What if you don't have a website? Eh, di ba Google search, there's a need for a website. So can you still use Google Ads ba? Uh, or the, the functionality of Google to 
create an ads kung wala kang uh, website not possible or you really have to have one yeah the website is uh is almost a non-negotiable um okay. oh, again only only because the google ads was really built to optimize uh, to bring in traffic to your website now sometimes mm-hmm. I will get a I will get a question. Oh, but but Miggy, I have a Facebook page. Can I can I bring them to the to the Facebook page, the page instead? Ah. Um, I've tried this. Um, it gets shut down by Google because it recognizes yeah, that you're you're bringing them to a Facebook platform instead of your website. So um, yeah, that's mm-hmm. again that's one of the caveat of working with Google advertising. No, na you have to have your own website um, available for for advertising. So, any more question before we uh, wrap up our session for today? I hope you learn. <laughs> ano lang nito parang if we will be uh, going deep dives probably in the coming weeks uh, for more information. Ano? But right now, for 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 this, this free forum, we are just touching on the kumbaga, tip of the iceberg. I know digital marketing topic is so uh, huge. Ano? So even di pa nga na touch ni Miggy yung material niya for for ano eh yung uh, uh, hub spots ano for incoming mm. Miggy we have a few more minutes would you like to to tell them about your yung hub spot I, I I saw it in Facebook kasi it's very popular now do you want to share a little bit or I don't know if you if you don't mind yeah sure sure so um my company uh, we're a HubSpot certified agency partner. Um, HubSpot, if you're not familiar, it's a software company based in the U.S. So uh, they service over 70,000 businesses around the world. Um, and they have free marketing, sales, and customer service tools. So um, you typically will get their software once you're at a certain level and you want to start scaling uh, some of your marketing and sales activities, no? um, and they have those tools to help you. So for example, uh, for their marketing set of tools, uh, instead of having your blog and your email marketing and, and your pop-up forms in different platforms, uh, you have it all built on the HubSpot dashboard that you purchase, and you're able to control that whole, that whole environment uh, without the need for so many different apps and so many different kinds of services. So yeah, uh, actually, you know, um, the I think the easiest way to to understand how they, they how they can help you is by using some of their free tools. So um, they have on their website a free CRM. So if you are currently tracking your sales using an Excel sheet, uh, you need to <laughs> update soon. So. Um, having a, a CRM software will allow you to track your sales and your uh, your clients better. So uh, HubSpot has a free uh, CRM tool that you can use. And um, I think just by interacting with that, you're able to figure out now if uh, if you need that software. 